Now we're going to take a look at concatenating with the ampersand symbol and using Excel's text function. Wait a second, concaca what? Zach, this is getting crazy. Why do I need this? I can use the ampersand symbol to concatenate different references inside a single formula. If I hit equals to start my formula and then move over to where I have one, two, three, if I hit enter, obviously I'll just get one, two, three. If I go back in and then I add the ampersand symbol and make another reference to this four, five, six, I've now glued those together. I've concatenated those two values into one, two, three, four, five, six using the ampersand symbol. And I can add one more and concatenate that with seven, eight, nine. So now I have this nine digit number that I've created from a reference to three other cells. If I wanted to, I can do this with text as well. Let's say I change this to wall, street, and oasis. You'll notice that it only includes the literal value inside of these cells, so there are no spaces. If I want there to be spaces, I need to put a space after the L and then after the T. And now these ampersands concatenate those values together to create Wall Street Oasis. If I wanted to, I don't actually need these cells over here. I could concatenate these inside of my formula by typing, for example, one, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine. And Excel will concatenate those together. If I type wall space and street space and oasis and hit enter, now I get this name error, which we talked about earlier. The name error means that Excel thinks I'm typing in a function name and just put a typo. To tell it that I'm intentionally including text in this formula, I need to surround my text by quotations. So I'm gonna put quotations around that wall space, street space, and then oasis. And now that I have quotations around all of my different pieces of text, Excel will concatenate this correctly. And you'll see why this is important in the next section. For now, let's take a look at Excel's text function. The text function allows us to make a reference to a value in another cell and format it using the same custom formatting code that you learned in the formatting module. For example, let's say that I have this 1000 somewhere on my worksheet and I need to leave it in that format, but I wanna make a reference to it somewhere else and I want that reference to be formatted in a different way. I can say equals text and then open parentheses. The first argument is the value that I wanna use and then I type the format. Now these formats are gonna be exactly the same as the custom formatting code that you learned about in the formatting module, but the difference is that they must all be surrounded in quotations. So just like you see to the right, I'm gonna put dollar, pound, comma, pound, pound, 0, 0.0. And this is gonna mean the same exact thing as your custom formatting code. I want a dollar sign in front of my numbers. The pound symbols represent insignificant digits. The comma inserts the comma separator between my thousands and hundreds position, and the 0.0, .0 represents my significant digits that are always shown. So when I hit enter, I now have the value in my reference formatted. You can also use the text function to format dates. So on the left, I have dates in these standard formats, and there's a serial code underneath this, where if I change the formatting here to a number, now you can see the serial code that represents that date. I'm gonna undo that. Here I can use the text function, and let's look at a few different date formats. I'm gonna make a reference to this cell, and I'm gonna format it with mm slash dd slash yy. What this means is that I have two digits for my month, two digits for my date, and two digits for my year. So when I hit enter, I have 12, 31, 19. If I change this to July 15th, 2019, you'll notice that because I have MM, those two month digits, I have a zero in front of my seven. So that's what that formatting is gonna do. Down here, if I say equals text, reference to that cell, and then I'm gonna format it month, month, day, day, and then four Ys. This now gives me four digits in my year, so it shows the entire 2019. Another format is to use the text function, refer to my date, and then format using a single M, single D, and two Ys. And that will give me the date without any unnecessary digits. So if there are two digits, like 
the 15 in the number of days, it'll show the one and the five. But since July is only a one digit month, it only shows the seven and not that extra zero. Finally, let's look at one last format. I can type four M's and then just a space, a D comma and Y, 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 Y. And since I put four M's, it's actually going to spell out the month. Now, there are a lot of different combinations that you can use, but hopefully this gives you an idea of the possibilities when you're using this custom formatting to change your date format. And you're probably wondering, why did we talk about concatenation above? Why are we talking about formatting dates here? If you'll hang with me, you'll understand why we're doing this in the next section.